To write the name for SNO2, we first need to recognize that we have this metal here, and then oxygen, that's a nonmetal. So metal and a nonmetal, that's ionic. Specifically, SN, that's tin, that's a transition metal. So we're going to use these rules to name this ionic compound with the transition metal. First, we write the name of the metal. That's just tin. Then we write the name of the nonmetal. That's the oxygen. So oxygen, lowercase o. And we're going to replace the ending with IDE. So we cross this out, IDE. So at this point, we have tin oxide is the name for SNO2. But tin, we said that was a transition metal. That means that it can have different ionic charges depending on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to two oxygen atoms. Oxygen always has an ionic charge of 2 minus, each one of them. 2 times 2 minus, that's 4 minus. And the tin has to be 4 plus for the charge to balance out to give us a net charge of 0. And to show the 4 plus on the tin here, we write a Roman numeral 4 and we put that in parentheses. So the name for SNO2 is tin 4 oxide. If you were given this name, you could figure the formula out. You know that tin has a 4 plus ionic charge, so you're going to need to have two oxygen atoms, each one that has the 2 minus ionic charge. This is Dr. B with the name for SNO2, tin 4 oxide. Thanks for watching.